You heard it in the news. I mentioned it in my overall lead in. An amber warning for extreme heat has begun for England and parts of Wales as the UK braces for record temperatures and red warnings. The Met Office warning will extend to southern Scotland from Monday until Tuesday when England's alert will rise to red for the first ever time. So, for our Rural Spotlight segment today, something that we love to do on this programme, we're taking a deep breath and looking at how farmers, and indeed gardeners, are coping with livestock and plants in this heat. So let's start with Jane Bassett, who is a livestock farmer, and I'm delighted to say that she joins me now. There she is. How big a challenge is it? We're going to talk about gardeners in a moment, but you're a professional, it's your business, it's your industry, and it's your livelihood. Hello there, Alistair. Yes, that's right. We're certainly in the uh, red area when you put, put up on your news and your weather report earlier. We're smack bang in the red, red area uh, as regards the alert. Um, yeah, it, it is a, a, a real concern. Um, we've certainly, where we are in Derbyshire here, normally it's the green, green grass of Derbyshire, but it's certainly not. It's various shades of brown. That's what we've got with a little bit of green, but not much green. Um, so we're doing our best for our cows and our cattle and our sheep and our livestock, as always, uh, making sure they've got enough water, making sure they've got enough shade, uh, trying to get them, if they can, allowed to come inside and keep them cool that way. Um, but it, it, and manage the grazing, of course, because that's disappearing fast. Um, you know, so it, it, it is causing problems. But we, as always, we're used to farmers are used to dealing with the extreme challenges that we face. Uh, and weather is one of them, um, you know, so we are doing our best. And when you talk about brown fields rather than green and pleasant lands, it's just, a, I mean, statement of the blindingly obvious, you are talking about what those lovely creatures uh, that we just saw for, for people who are listening to the mm. conversation on radio, but lo lovely pictures of them. Uh, it's their food. Uh, and ditto, like any living creature, they need water, it's not an option. That's right. Food and water, like everybody, um, you know. So, um, like we say, we have to on the food side of things because it's been the drought is actually, you know, burning the grass. So then we have to supplementary feed those. So what we're actually doing is sort of having to start um, digging into our winter stocks, our valuable winter stocks already in July. That's what's going to happen very soon. Um, we've had to we have managed some grazing to hold some back that we can use it, but that won't last for long if we don't have any rain. So obviously then we're going into our winter stocks, which is uh, a bit of an issue with you know input costs going up and everything. We don't want to be having to do that, but we have to do that, of course. And water, um, you know, water. Our cows drink a lot of water, obviously, and sheep drink obviously a lot of water when it's hot. Um, you know, a dairy cow can drink. You know, a high yielding dairy cow can drink about 150 litres of water a day. And we do manage water the best we can. I mean, on our own farm, what we do is actually collect the rainwater over the winter period and the spring period and store that water so that we, we can manage it for now, for these times. But, you know, that we had such a dry spring, that's not last going to last forever. Um, you know, so we do need to make the best use and, and, and manage water better as, as a country. Uh, That's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant tip for the amateur gardeners there as well. Uh, the final question, <laughs> and it, you know, put your professional farmer's hat back on there. Are you worried about the impact all of this is going to have on supplies and indeed prices? Well, we're doing our very best to keep, uh, obviously, supplies going. Um you know, and, and that's what that's what we're working to. So, you know, farmers work every day for that. They work very hard for that uh, to keep the shelves stocked and to keep the supplies going. Um, but certainly our costs are going up uh, without a doubt, you know, you know because of uh, having to feed extra. All right.